1989. There mm. were four different original colorways of the Air Jordan 4. Right. We have them here inside of this box. Okay. And there's no other way to rank these shoes besides having an OG in the video. For sure. Right? It only makes right. sense. So today we're going to unbox them and rank them based off the best to the worst colorway. This has been a debate for many <clears throat> sneakerheads for many a years. This is the first time we've ever seen the Air Jordan with the Nike Air and a retro iteration in all four colorways. All right. All right. Let's get so this. we're going to unbox these in order from release date. So we'll talk about how they came out and then we'll show you the process and give you the context to each shoe, a little bit of history, and then we'll rank them. That way you understand the value of each shoe. And right. Everything, okay. Right. All right. Sneaker number one, you got the OG box. Now this came out in 2016 and this is the second iteration with the Nike Air on the back of the shoe. Right. And that's the white cement Air Jordan 4s. This right here shoe right here is the bananas. <laughs> like the colorway has always been nice. You can't go wrong with the shoe. And the hang tag, that's one of the things I hate they stopped doing on shoes. But see, that's my thing. This one has the jump, it has the jump man with the air instead of yeah. the Nike air on there. So it's yeah. not giving us that full OG vibe. You know what I'm saying? But still like just it's still tight though. I like yeah. it. I like it. I get it. Yeah. So this shoe, we saw a ninth, we saw the original, then we saw 1999 retro <clears throat> Nike air. They did a great job on the shoe. Mm -hmm. Then we saw 2012. There was a jump man on the back. We can't forget the fusion in that mix. I want to say that right. was 2009. Right. Uh, and then you had the 2016. Now this was the remastered series. This was the beginning of Jordan brand saying, hey, we're gonna get back to quality, we're gonna get back to materials, we're gonna get back to cuts, and we're gonna start doing it right because they were starting to get away from the model. And this was the staple shoe for the sneaker community about to eight years ago. They didn't mess the shoe up. Sometimes they bring the shoe out and just mess it up. Mm -hmm. This shoe right here is clean. Like the leathers, the cuts, everything. You know me, like I said, the hang tag is good. Mm -hmm. The, the Nike Air, like this right here is hard to be, you know, I like that. They could do the jump man, whatever, but I'm just telling you like for me, I still like the Nike Air. Okay, there. yeah, all these are gonna have Nike Air on the back. And then not even to mention <laughs> Spike Lee, do the right thing, his yeah. shoes getting scuffed in the movie, the different scenes yeah. and the different cultural moments with this shoe. So many different rappers wearing this shoe over right. the years, not only just music and sports, and just, it was just so many different elements to why this shoe was dope. Right, They did. this shoe is just clean. <laughs> Like, it's just clean. Like, remember I told you before, like, I like the simple mm -hmm. color. But Even I wear a size 14, it don't look say, big. But you're a size 14. But it don't look- you actually wear these? Yes, though? for sure. Okay. Because okay. it don't look so big in here. They did the black toe right here. This black, that helps it slow it down so okay. it's not so big in the front. Okay. Well, we could spend a whole another day talking about this shoe. We got four classics to go through. Right. So overall, what do you think you would rate these out of 10 without seeing the other ones? I'm gonna still get us a 10. 10 out of 10. This still get a 10. Oh, this is gonna be a tough this, rate. This shoe is a rocker. It's a 10. All right, okay. I can't, I mean, hey, I, I'll I, never go back on this shoe. It's, I say it's all, gonna be a 10. I say all four is a 10 out of 10, so I'm gonna have a hard time picking. This, I think I got mine, but uh, you know, this is the first one. So yeah. this came out in 2016. The next release, we'll go through the next release. I get excited when I see that shoe. Okay, next up to release, a couple years later, in 2019, a few years later, in yeah. 2019, we saw this pair right here. And that is the Black Cement, also known as the Bread Air Jordan 4s. Oh my oh God. Oh my God. <laughs> so the only thing I would say is the hang tag. I want the hang tag off the other one. You want the other hang? This is the OG hang no, tag. No, I want the hang tag off the other I like the other hang tag. Okay. I got them on my other shoe. Okay, okay. Everything else, this shoe get 11. 11. It's a 10 out of a 10, so we got to get an 11. Okay. This shoe right here is durable. You know, for the color, you can mm -hmm. wear it. You can beat it up. This shoe's been good. Again, another classic model. Classic. Something that we saw debut during All-Star Weekend and different yeah. things like that. This shoe has been a classic for many a years, and it's not going anywhere anytime soon. No. And it could potentially take first place, maybe? I don't know. It's real close. It's gonna be close. I have to look at the other ones, but right now, <laughs> out of the two, this this is it. It's a good shoe. But I don't know though. I got reasons for other shoes. Oh. And I got I got memories of other shoes. So we're gonna see but how these rank but, out. But of course in other like whole different shoes, but as long as we stay in this shoe right mm -hmm. here, <laughs> this shoe right here is a classic okay. to me. Okay, so we saw 1999. Then we saw 2008 in the CDP pack. Yeah. Then we saw, I think 2009, there was a fusion or one of them years there was a fusion. I don't fusion. have these. 
The 2012. I used to have these. You don't got the. You don't I don't have, have these no more. So you need those in your life. I don't have these no more. You, I, so remember the leather pair that just came out last year? So listen, we're not even going to rank those because those get a 12. Yeah, those, we did the ranking video. You didn't even those, rank those. The leather ones? What you ranked What's number one? Was it? They had to be number one. I think we did the threes. I don't even remember. We gotta oh, watch no. the video back. Hey, watch that other video, the ranking video. That leather window in this shoe? Because remember, the leather was super nice. I know. Anyway, so we well, back to the Well, that's what I'm shoes. saying, though. You're gonna see this next shoe and be like, this is nice. I can't go higher than leather. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the bread for. This came out next, uh, you know, just recently. So if you're a sneaker head, basically over the past eight years, this is like, the goal is to get every Air Jordan 4 with the Nike Air. Who does that? So it take it's basically taking <laughs> modern day sneaker heads eight years to do this from 2016 to current time. Right. Because you had 2016, but, but then you had 2019. Real sneaker heads take time to get shoes. That's what I'm saying. Those so, hype beasts. Oh, I got this. I got this. I get that. Get That's crazy. Stop that. <laughs> I'm talking about real sneaker heads. No, it take time to get shoes. Yeah. And you got to sit on them and don't wear them as soon as you get them. Right. No, you got to double up. So all these shoes, I have two to three, the last reimagined fours. Yeah. I thought I had three pair. I got five. <laughs> I was going through the box. Oh, no. I got more. Oh, yeah, I've been wearing them too. I'm like, this is crazy. Okay. And no size 14. See how what happened was. Here? How do we, how do you get five We'll figure that pair? out. No we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. <laughs> Next shoe. <laughs> this shoe right here. Oh my gosh. I just, I have so many memories with this shoe. That's the thing for me. So it's really high on my list because I remember when these came out back in high school, the Mars Blackman Air Jordan right. 4, the face on the side, the military blue oh. drop during that time, the Miss 4s, you name it. So what do you How think? How did they come in this series? Like, I'm going 10, 11, 12? No. This shoe right here, I don't have this shoe either, but I'm going to tell you like this. It's got to get a 10. It can't get 11 because the black, I can wear it more often. Okay. But this shoe is wearable. Like we blazers, bulls, blah, blah, blah. Right. And this Red, shoe, black, and white, you can never go wrong. Yeah. The. I have multiple. They videos. cannot really mess this shoe up. Right. I couldn't even tell you, like, this is a clean ass, so, I mean, clean shoe. So one but thing But still a hang tag, I want the other hang tag. This is the other, oh no, this is the, this yeah. is the, this is the OG yeah. hang tag. Uh, I know. I understand that was original, but I, when they switched to that big plastic. Okay. I like that. Now. Hear me out on this. Mm -hmm. This pair is the actual OG cut. The other two pairs was more of like a remastered cut. Right. This is the first version with the OG cut. Right. So this is gonna look damn near identical to the, to the 1989 yeah. pair. So my gripe, Man, this was hard. my gripe to Jordan brand is, hey, we still need black cement fours and white cement fours in this cut with those materials. We technically have the Infinity Stones put together, but it's not just all the way right. right. You know what I'm right. saying? So this right here opened the door to a whole new legacy of Nike Air on the black, you know, on the classic uh, four colorway. And that's what's so hard about this because neither one of these shoes, they went wrong. Right. Like the colorways, even though, like you said, you change, they changed the cut a little bit, but the shoe itself, it's clean. They didn't mess it up. I mean, I mean, sometimes they bring the shoe back out and just, just trash the look shoe. Look over there. You see, I got a pair right there. Rockers, oh, yeah. black pair rockers. Yeah. I got other ones in the other room, but they're heavy in the rotation. Yeah. I love this oh, shoe. Oh, I know. I love this I shoe. I know, but I don't have a size 14. <sighs> what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> so in 2006, we saw the Mars Blackman. Then we saw another fusion. And then in 2012, we saw a retro which was not really that good. And then we saw these come out in 2020. So we've seen, again, with each of these models, there have been multiple retro iterations over the years that have gotten us now to the perfect style, the perfect cut, everything is correct, matching the colorways, all this stuff. Like, this shoe right here was the one. This is more iconic. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's just kind of where I'm at. It's gonna be a hard time ranking. That's all I'm saying. It's, That's all I'm saying. I can't. If we're gonna do them in order, later, then I can't tell you what this one is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I can't tell you right Fourth now. Fourth and final original colorway. We have the Air Jordan Four Military Blue. Now I did some research, and I couldn't find any photos of Michael Jordan wearing this shoe. Right. I'm like, where's the photos at? So please send me a link so I can get, have some photos. But I did find Gilbert Arenas wearing the shoe. So right. that's kind of weird, but either way, 
This is an OG colorway, but it wasn't an OG Bulls colorway. Right. So I mean, maybe that's why he didn't wear it or we didn't see it often. Obviously, he's not going to wear it on court, but like him wearing it in the streets or at some event or something, you know, I just right. didn't see him wearing it. Right. So these, they're set to come out in a couple weeks. This is a hot, high demand sneaker, potential sneaker of the year, all the different stuff. This pair is even closer to the original when it comes to the shape this and how they executed clean. this model. This is the, the closest we will ever get to a 1989 pair. They actually have the little plastic here compared yeah. to the metal beads and everything. Like yeah. this is exactly just, this is great. This is, I mean, like how do we, the ranking is gonna be crazy. Yeah, cause this is clean. And the thing is, like I said, we do the, I do, me, I do simple colorways. This is very simple. They didn't mess it mm -hmm. up, add all these colors and do all this other crazy stuff. But the stuff. nice gray touch in the front. Oh, that's clean. That's yeah. clean. Because truth is, we always kind of scuff these up a little bit. So mm -hmm. you already got a little gray, a little dirty. That's cool. I don't know. Trying to rank these. We got to rank these in four, one, two, three, yep, four. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to get them all out. Oh my God. This shoe is clean. The leather's good. This is going to be hard. <laughs> okay. So 2006, then you had a Fusion, and I think 2009, and then you had a 2012 Retro, and then you had a Golf Spike that came out a couple years ago. Speaking of that, there's Golf Spikes of all these versions too. I don't know if the Fire Reds have a Golf Spike, but I know there's a Black Cement and a White Cement. Uh, and then you got this version right here. Right. So again, multiple Retro iterations, different pairs coming out every you know five years or so, whatever it may be uh, for this shoe. But this one, again, First ever retro with the Nike Air on the back yeah. since the original. We have never seen this before. This is going to be tough. <laughs> this shoe clean. This shoe's fire. For yeah. sure. And again, two OG cuts. Now you can put them in the else. It's like you look at the colorway, but then you look at the shoe and the materials and the cuts. And you're like, how do I, how do, I do this? Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be the hard part. So we're at this point now. And uh, we're going to get all the shoes together. And we're going to rank them from best to worst. Hey, yo, just real quick, I wanted to let you guys know we got a bunch of new merch on the website, shopdnashow.com. Also, you guys can click on any of the links of the product tag just below the video here if you're watching on your mobile devices. I can't wait to see you guys rocking the gear. Whenever you cop something, make sure you post it on IG so I can see it, and then I'll repost it. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, you guys, and we are back. So, before we get started with the ranking, I just had to throw this in there. Somebody said you should throw it in the ranking. Some people said you shouldn't. I was like, we'll just talk about it real quick. So these are the what the Air Jordan 4s. Right. So they took all four OG colorways and incorporated oh, okay. them into this model. This came out a few years ago. And you see, it was funny because it had the Nike Air. And this was the first time people saw this and they were like, yo, we never even seen this. So people were like going crazy over it. And then these kind of sat went to outlets people wasn't rocking with them they sat when they came out <clears throat> then COVID came next thing you know everybody started hyping up the fours and then it was like a 500 dollars shoe what and you're like what happened uh, like nobody wanted you these. blew it now it's everybody's grail yeah it's funny how it works yeah so what would you should we even talk about these anymore or should we just keep it pushing i'll say keep them out of there because this right, is already going to be tough enough let's go so uh with the ranking ogs oh, here we go we have to consider wearability style look cuts stat you just everything we have to go through all these factors and figure out how we're going to rank this so like we do pick which shoe you think should be in last place we're going to do it on three all right can you, you ready yeah or, or you need some time no nope. you got it last place all right one two three Oh, wait, those are going to last. No, because look, I'm a blue jean kind of guy. Okay. So you know you can I wear, wear blue jeans with those. <laughs> but you know I wear jeans and whatnot, and you wear them little tight little shorts, but. Stop it. <laughs> these right here? No, these got to be last. These going to go last. The White Cement 4 is last. This time it's going to go last right now. That's crazy. Okay, <laughs> how about this? For now, for now, we'll put them both in third and fourth. For now, and then we'll, we'll we'll plead our cases for these two. <laughs> we'll plead our cases. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, even though we'll, we'll just do it like this oh. while we wait right here. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, so we'll get back to this. Wait, what? The white cement floor? What? The there. This is top two. This is cr that's, yeah, that's crazy. Me. Okay. 
Top two. I say top two. You say last. So that has to be, all right, we can meet in the middle at okay. second or third. Right. Okay. But how'd you put this at last? No, I'm just saying. We'll put this. All right. That's it's just sitting there. It's just sitting there for now. Okay. So if I say this is top two and you say last, that means we'll put it at a strong third. Strong third. Strong third. So these two shoes are very similar. Military blue, fire red four. Yes. I wore both of these shoes back in high school to the ground. Right. So I have an equal amount of memories in both shoes. Right. And I am very excited about these. But I was but very they, excited about yeah. these and I still wear these to this right. day. So equal playing ground for me. This is the new hot shiny thing. They're coming out right now. It's that clean. Stuff. Don't like, get me wrong. That's, so we have to remember that too. Clean. But we're talking OGs. Right. Which ones? You know I gotta go black, keep it black. I'm going bop, bop, okay, bop, so like we're that. Gonna, we're gonna put these in first. If you wanna do that. I think, personally, a vast majority of the people are gonna choose this one as first place. Wearability, clean cuts, Nike Air, all good, the stuff. Good for all shoe sizes. Everything. Cause it don't look like a boat when it's a size right. 13 or a 14. <laughs> right. Also, I did a poll. We'll look at the poll results at the end of the video. I posted a poll on uh, the YouTube community tab. So okay. we'll see what the poll results say and see how accurate we are compared to the poll results. Right. So we got this as one. That's one. For now? Yeah. Or for the whole time? I'll say for the whole time. That's crazy because Again, two OG cuts. This got me scared right now. <laughs> two OG cuts. But then we're talking about colorways. So are we talking about literally, let's not think about cuts. Let's just think about colorways and OG. This is OG model, right? I think I want to move. I want to, I got to so like, make a change. So like if we assume that all these were OG cut, right? Right. That's the color blocking. We'll just worry about colorway, right? What do you want to change? I don't know. I feel like I want to change this to this now. Okay. See, now you're talking. I told you this was a strong second. I think this is first. I'm, I'm, this is second. I think I'm changing right now. We're getting somewhere. We're getting yeah. somewhere. We're making progress. It's progress. Okay. I think that's my final choice right there. This is a four? Or do you want to go like this? Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. It could be done like that, though. Okay. So it could be like that or like this. Yeah. But this is the key. First and second. Because, because the other part is two, these are the main colors we wear. Mm -hmm. These three. That's the main colors we wear on a regular basis. But this is a clean shoe. This one of them shoes you're gonna walk out there, you didn't wear all the time, and you're gonna bust him out, and everybody's like, oh, you got those on? Right. And then and you're gonna we put go, them hey, back up. Hey, you, you're not gonna wear them again. Wait it's till gonna we be go like to, another year. Wait till we go to Sneaker Con, and you see everybody rocking those. Oh, you're gonna do a video later. Like, everybody <laughs> rocking those, everybody rocking those. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, but hear me out. Look, this is what's funny. Prime example. These came out, everybody, oh, the leather, the, there's glue, there's quality control. <laughs> everybody That'd crying a about couple the shoe. Pair. Everybody crying about the shoe, right? Right. Two years later, taxing. Oh, this is a grail. I need the shoe of my life. Uh, but, but it was sitting. People did not want it. Like, why y'all, like, like it was you. barely. I said this it, earlier. It, we say buy what you like. Right. But there's so many hype beasts in these shoes. It just kills me. Either you like it or don't like it. Right. Now, I've changed my mind on shoes in hand. Right. I didn't see it. I seen it on the video. But if you didn't do that and you seen it at the outlet and you didn't buy it, that's just stupid at that point. Yeah, I feel it. I feel it. So this is uh gonna be interesting to see what happens with this because when these came out, well they have they're about to come out. Uh, they was reselling for like 800 bucks. You always get to shoot early. They was, re <laughs> they, they was reselling for like $800 before they came out, right? Oh, these about to come out. And then they he did a shock drop. Pair. <laughs> <laughs> they did a shock drop. And then the price slowly starting to creep down. So I'm interested to see what, what happens once these release. Because I already didn't see people complaining on their This is a tough shoe. I, I don't know if pairs. I really wanted it last. But again, there's no wrong way. I think there's no wrong answer. Tell me, is there a wrong, there's no wrong answer. Is there's no wrong answer. All right, I think they're ready. They're ready for us to finalize the results. So 
Is this it? Okay, that's it. That's it? That's it. I am good Because I almost this. wanted to move that shoe again. I think personally, this has been my order forever. This has There's always- There's no ever. For the entire time that I thought about the OG4 set, this has been my colorway order. First to last. So we got, coming in at fourth place, we got the Military Blue yeah. Air Jordan 4. Beautiful shoe. Beautiful shoe, but it's taking Very. four. Third place, we have the Fire Red Air Jordan 4. This is our ranking. But they really don't mess up no Fire Reds. Like everything is cool. I know. That's the hard part. Second place, we have the White Cement Air Jordan 4. I still call them Oreo cookies. The Oreos. And but that's see, that's a different Oreo. I know, but it just, it just got that to me. <laughs> and then number one, we have the Bread, the Black Cement, the what Playoff. Is what the is it called? Black is and it, Red. The, this got like four names. Which, <laughs> like whatever you want to call it. Either way, this is our number one. So. Uh, I'm gonna vote as number one, Black Cement. Okay. And that's what the people picked. They picked that? They picked that number 55%, one? 55%, I'm gonna get a screenshot. 55% of the people chose the Black Cement Air Jordan 4s. Second place, 23% White Cement Air Jordan 4s. Uh, <laughs> What's in third place? The Fire Red. Military. Uh, they did it like this? The people did it like that? And then in last place with 9%, the Fire Red Air Jordan 4. Oh, wow. I still like our order better. Our order is, yeah. I think our order is better. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> At the end of the day, this is our ranking. Don't worry if your feelings are hurt from it. I don't know why, because we're just ranking shoes. We're having fun. Buy what you like <laughs> and get it. all four pair. <laughs> get all four. Because so, there's no wrong answer. There's no wrong answer. Like what you like, buy what you like, order them how you want to order them. Either way, at the end of the day, drop a comment down below and let us know what your ranking is in the comment section. And if you want to see any other ranking videos, let me know. I got a bunch of other OGs in my collection. I feel like we should do this with other models. But the other thing is you got to tell us your shoe size too, because don't be saying that when you got that little foot. <laughs> What does that have to do with anything? No, because that's what I said earlier. The, the proportion. The portion yeah, of the shoe. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Okay, okay. And you got a size nine shoe, and we got a 14. Yeah, it does look. A 13, 14. Yeah, it looks terrible when it's like a 14. So you're ranking like. the shoe, but you got a little foot. Yeah, I get that. Anyway, grow man. We back. That. All right, well, uh, I need you guys to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe to his channel as well. The link will be down below in the description. When you get him to 10,000 followers on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, everything will be linked down below and tagged at the end of the video. You got anything else for people? Hey, all I say is I see y'all. Thanks for seeing me. <laughs> <laughs> I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and want to take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, this is definitely going to be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. Hey, the only hey, choice I like to make what I'm aware of. I would never let you down. It's in my DNA, don't